Well, back to another match review. Rangers 4, Cove. Rangers 4. Got the job done. You should not be getting beat against these fucking jobber teams. As uh, some of our teams would. But in terms of the team that Jared went with, I mean, I thought it was actually a bit too strong considering the opposition. I mean, it was 4 0. Only 4 0. I mean, I was hyping up minus 4, but turns out that wasn't going to happen. But I mean, I wouldn't have started with half of this team, to be honest. Well, I'll say half this team. Well, that's a bit extreme, but like Davis, I feel like there's no need for him to be starting this game. The guy plays every minute, then he goes to international and plays every minute, and then what he's well, I know he played 45 here, but I think not particularly that need to happen. I mean, like Etten as well, he didn't even start this game. Like, realistically, do you need to go with uh, the, like a starting midfield of Kamara, Davis, and Arfield? I mean, did you even need to have a midfielder like Davis who like dictates the play when you're against Cove Rangers? You could have just actually just fe featured that in there, you know, right the full roof and Etten up front. But at the same time, I mean, the front three absolutely ripped this team to shreds. I didn't even think Cove Rangers just started off that bad. But eventually, the quality just shined through. You know, like, I mean, initially we could have had four goals in the first 15 minutes, but they didn't really come. Then the game kind of settled. But then, Jeremy and Defoe picked, I mean, we did hit the post on him. Defoe missed, like, for two yards out as well. But, again, Defoe was, I, I mean, I said in the hang, Defoe was always going to start this game. I just feel like with the team, you could have been a bit more adventurous you know I feel like it was good seeing Bassi and all back in there but the, the Davis thing was probably doing to do with Sungu picking up an injury or two but Defoe picked up the ball buries it into the bottom left hand corner good night and you're thinking right let's build on this another great chance for Defoe I mean Defoe had a lot of great chances but I guess that's what you're going to get when you're playing Cove Rangers you know but Roof got a two minute double around the 31st minute some good goals in here. Scott, I thought Scott Wright was brilliant today, but like, let's be real, it is just Cove Rangers. Yes, you've still got to play brilliantly, but I have been a bit critical of him. But it was a good performance, you know. But hopefully, you can do this against like you know teams in the Champions League, big man, in the qualifiers, you know, and also in the league. Because some of the play here, this is some sort. This is like the sort of play. I'd love to see away at certain teams, you know, like Livingston, like just fucking out completely out past them and outplay them in the final bit, instead of this fucking depressing, you sit there for like nil-nil, the whole game, clinically depressed, like, oh, can we get a goal? Uh, so I'd have loved to have seen that, in that respect, but two good goals for uh, Ruth Wright could have got like 12 assists here, he didn't. Bassey and Davis, they did pick up two needless yellow cards, and you know, with uh, who we got in the next round, well actually we'll get to that in a wee minute, right, because Patterson though, awful at the back for Cove Rangers, they were passing about with it, it was, it was like hot potato with him, Patterson takes it off the guy, buries it, I thought Patterson was brilliant, in game, just shows you like, our two backup fullbacks are also incredibly um, good here, and hopefully Bassi can get more involved now, you know, but I know that some of them have been suspended, which I thought would have counted the Scottish Cup games, but apparently not there, but yeah, great win, 4-0, didn't literally get to see any of the, the second half, didn't watch, didn't get to catch the, the first 20 odd minutes yet, when I came back, watched about 5 minutes yet, and then the internet died, but there was no goals, just Hadji came on for Davis, which I think was the right decision, Itton came on for Roof, and Greg Stewart came on for the full. I don't know if you're only allowed to make 3 subs in this, I thought it might have been 5, you know, but both both clubs only made three subs each, so I'm assuming it was a max of three. But anyway, guys, leave your thoughts down below. Great win. And yes, we have got Celtic up next in the last 16. Better not be in Premier Sports, man. Put it on BT. Put it on Sky. Put it on BBC One Scotland. Put it on something I've got instead of watching it on a pish fucking live stream. Because if the internet went, it wouldn't have mattered. You know, I've got every channel apart from Premier Sports Big Man. So until next time, peace.